Welcome back, everyone. Reggie versus Solace here with another Wild Guide. Um, I think I'm gonna make this a series, so this will probably be the third Wild Guide that I'm making here. And this one um, is gonna prepare the uh, melee classes for Phase Five content. And wow, Phase Five is coming shortly. It's probably be here this summer, um, as of this recording. And um, right now, I'm in Syphilis. I'm grinding out the uh, Smoke Desert Dumplings. Um, and and um, I have a route that I use to uh, pretty much gather stacks per hour um, for the dumplings here. And I kind of wanted to share that with you guys so you guys can uh, have a good route before it gets too crowded um, in Syphilis. Um, due to the uh, people farming the text uh, and things like that for Scenario. So I'm going to show you guys that now. Before I begin, feel free to uh, like, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, um, or if you're on, on Twitch, um, you see the links um, displayed on the screen, you know, of course on YouTube, we're trying to grow that community, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications and future wild guides, because they'll be coming your way. Right. So right now, I have my second warrior, Gressel, um, he is in Selfless right now. And what we're farming is the smoked desert dumplings. We're trying to make these right here. Uh, smoked desert dumplings here. Um, what that does is provide you with 20 strength for 15 minutes. And then as an upgrade over the Argent Dawn, which gives you 10 strength for, uh, for 10 minutes. So this one is double the strength and also um, a little bit more, five minutes longer on the uh, uptime. And so, let me kill this guy real quick here. So, while we're gonna be here farming, I wanted to show you guys the map and the route that I take. So, leaving out of Scenario Hole, you're gonna be making a kind of a detour around this little sand dune area and coming back. So, you're making your way around this little sand dune area and coming back down. You also can get some white spider meat, and those make um, some uh, um, the food buff, the food stamp buff, uh, if you use two of those. So what I do is I farm these dredge strikers right here. Um, I'm farming buffed because I'm waiting for uh, Arathi Basin. I mean, I'm Arathi uh, Altarite Valley to, to drop um, to, to pop. So real quick here is we're gonna be getting the sandworm meat. This is what you need along with one hot spice to, or one soothing spice, sorry about that. And you use one sand meat, sandworm meat, one soothing spice, and you'll create one of these smoked desert dumplings. You get that recipe from Silithus. The, um, you can find the, from the innkeeper. And then you go to a quest over here to be able to uh, to, to loop the, the book that has the recipe. Once you get that, you'll have your new strength buff uh, item for phase five. So what you're doing is normally these dredge strikers, the reason why I farm them instead of the dredge crushers is because these are easier to kill. Makes sense, right? So I'm gonna hook up our dark moon trinket. Still too. So what you want to do here is once again, you're going to be making a kind of a circle around this area here, around this sand dune, and we'll be grinding it out. So we'll spend some time here, um, grinding up the, uh, get some, um, some thick spider silk for your, uh, your phase five recipes also. So this is a good area, boys. Right now, in um, Classic Wild, before Phase 5 starts, before this area gets, uh, especially in a high population server, before this area gets uh, crowded with everyone from Horde and Alliance grinding, it's best to come over here and kind of prep up. What I like to do is I run with uh, a couple warriors. Uh, my main is a one-handed warrior, Warblade, and this is my um, second warrior who's rocking the Ash Gandhi right now, so I'm excited about that. Um, they both use the dumplings, even though one is a cook. 
So what I would do is I would send one snack over, well I send two snacks. One snack over for Warblade and the other snack over for Russell. And then uh, you'll send them back via the mail so they can have them for their raid. So as you can see here, there's a few dread strikers up. The reason why I go this route here, once again, I'm going this route. I like I'm almost making a crescent around the sand dune here. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is there's nothing but the dredge strikers in this area. Dredge strikers, you get some of these guys that can drop the uh, the poison um, venom, anti venom. So you can be able to get that from them. Also, they also um, drop a meat. Also, but see, I I, I I know I'm buffed up, but still these. Um, Dread Strikers here have a good chance of uh, dropping one of the Sandworm Meat. And so what I would do is I would just uh, go up here. It's actually to the left of this. So what you're going to be doing is you see where this dream, this dreamful node is. You'll be making your way through here. This is the sand dude I'm talking about. There's one right there. So you got this right here. You get some uh, some drama right here with these guys. You wanna knock them down real quick. No worries about that. So you gotta just knock them down. Stay popped up there. These guys can drop the elemental um, air. So those are cool. If you're if you're farming the uh, the venom, which you shouldn't, but if you are, see someone's killing these guys right there. So that's smart. If you are farming those, um, this is a good place to farm them too. So what I do here is I come around. It's actually this dude. I check this area to see if any are up. See, you see two of them here. So you're coming around this one also. These happen to be up and they're 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 in a close uh, proximity to each other. So I'm just gonna take these real quick. And back up so you guys can be able to see it. All right, slimy icker. I don't normally um, loot those. So my bags are packed up with PVP stuff. But, farming these right here, good alternative and um, a good route for you guys to be able to just get your snacks. So I'm staying away from those guys, but if you guys want to fight them, so be it. All right, cool. Looking out for uh, any enemies here too. So you also can come over to this sand dune right here. And you're stat one point. And there's normally like one or two hanging out over here also. So that's giving you now two different alternate routes to be able to go to. Just decided to try this one out as I saw them up. But this general area is where you want to be. All right. So northeast of Scenarian Hole, that's where the Dredge Strikers are. There is no Dredge Crushers. The Dredge Crushers are going to be in this area south. This is going to be a hotly contested area because it's the closest uh, Twilight Camp to scenario and hold there's going to be alliance and horde farming over here i kind of try to stay over here there's a camp over here also you can be able to farm uh, to, to your heart's content so stack on point right here near the road i'm going to be trying to get these um sandworm meats come up with a stack um if you're a miner there's uh, small thorium veins over here also um, the large thorium veins are going to be in the uh, the hives. So if you're farming in the morning, you can also try to stop by those. If you're a herbalist, there's going to be uh, sun grass, there's going to be dreamful, the occasional black lotus down here also. So another good thing too is the way this is going right now, I also farm over here. So as you can see here, this is a hub that I use and I also come around this way also. There's a few uh, strikers over here too. So I'll shoot him and I started. Boom. 
And so that's the little, uh, the little farming strategy here is you're gonna come around this sand dune and then you're also coming around this larger one over here and making your way back. So circles over here, circles over here, not too contested as far as uh, drama from the Alliance Report. Um, and you can be able to, to farm the sandworm meats to your heart's content. Um, there are, it, it's a really good uh, buff for your warrior or for your rogue or maybe your, your feral uh, DPS. I know I roll warriors, so I don't know exactly how the strength scales with those other classes. I know the winter uh, squid is right now on cooldown, and I know that gave you 10 agility. For, uh, for those classes that, uh, that's not congenitally like hunters and things like that. But for me, this will be the, uh, the prime go-to spot for your warriors. And I'm thinking for your melee classes in general. You can correct me if I'm wrong here. But also, profitable if you're going to sell it. If you can uh, find the uh, the recipe from the quest giver. See, you got a huge venom sack. And, uh, and it's a mystery meat also. The mystery meat is good for your chili. So try harding like myself. I like to, to, to stack the uh, the chili on uh, certain trash fights and also some bosses. Um, so you could be able to uh, have those uh, chilies, the mystery meat for the chili, right there also. You see over here from the, this uh, east corner, there's two of them available. So that's pretty cool. So you can both come over here, grab them both. Even if you're uh, dazed, you're fine. And uh, you can be able to knock these guys out right here just with that. So, once again, wild guides, you can be able to come and use this direction from Scenarian Hold. Coming here, you're coming east or northeast, coming around this stand dune right over here. Either or, for your uh, smoke desert dumpling farm. As you can see here, I was able to get a couple just doing this video. I'm gonna farm about 20. Um, you can be able to farm um, a few more if you need. Also, the mystery meats for your chili and also your huge venom stack for your anti-venom uh, poison. This is uh, Reggie versus Solace here. Uh, signing out once again, twitch.tv Reggie versus Solace. So we're going to community over there. Um, giving you guys wild content, giving you guys raids and stuff. I do raids on uh, Twitch on Warplay. And I do raids for Russell, my 2 handed warrior on YouTube. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if you guys found this, um, new channel, new guys will be going up um, as phase five releases. And then of course we're prepping up for day six. Um, for phase six, I, am, I have 22 uh, kills on KT private servers. And now uh, we're gonna get some more coming for classic ones. So uh, buckle up and uh, stick around guys. Uh, this is Ready versus Solace. Signing out with another wild guy.